Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to flush a tankless water heater, and we're gonna talk about it right now. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I've been plumbing over 38 years, and I have every master endorsement in the state of Texas. On this channel, I'm teaching you everything you need to know about plumbing. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. So in this video, we're gonna flush a tankless water heater. Now this is something really that any homeowner can do if they've got the right tools. Now, tools that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a pair of pliers. And I got this small pair of channel locks and I love these. These are great for washing machine hoses that are hard to reach. But here on a tankless water heater, they're great too. And really the only other tool that you're gonna need is you're gonna need a circulation pump. And what this is for is you're gonna have to shut off the water to the water heater to isolate it then you've got an inlet and an outlet and you need something to circulate that fluid through it. They make kits that they sell. This is great. We're using a Haymaker product today and they've got a good pump that comes with it. The good thing is, is once you buy this, you can either reorder the chemical or I'll give you a trick at the end of the video to show you some tips that you can do to use something different to help save you money. So the first thing that you're gonna do is make sure that there are valves for flushing. So you've got an inlet and an outlet because you want to go the same direction as the water. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the isolation valves and remember turn the valve across that puts a stop in it. Turn this one back here and get it the same way. Now what we've done is we've completely isolated the tankless water heater from the house. So we're going to make sure that our washers are in there. We're going to hook our hose connections up. Now these are literally washing machine hoses and they work great. Now some people will tell you to flush the water out of a tankless water heater before you flush it. I like leaving that water in there. That way I don't have to add as much water to my bucket to mix the chemical in with. Make sure each hose connection's on there tight so it won't leak. Okay, so this is the circulation pump. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the other end of the cold water inlet hose and I'm gonna attach it to the discharge side of the circulation pump. I know this is the discharge side because I've got a filter on the inlet side. And once you put this in and snug it up, you're gonna drop it down in the bucket. Now, the hot water side, all we've gotta do is literally drop it in the bucket. The reason being, we're creating a closed loop system. I'm gonna put the chemical in here in the water it's gonna pump through the system, go up through the heat exchanger. This is gonna clean the calcium and magnesium buildup off the inside of the heat exchanger. Okay, so I've got my gallon of water in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my chemical cleansing agent. And like I said, I've isolated the hot and cold from the house. So now what I'm gonna do, you've got an inlet and an outlet valve here. I'm gonna open them up to open the flow path. And there's lines here so I know Right there is open. And right there is open. So now all I've got to do is plug this in and let this chemical circulate for 30 minutes and we'll come back and look at it here in a minute. Guys, one thing to look for before you decide to flush your tankless water heater is you've got to make sure that you have flush valves. What I like about this assembly is on the hot side, you've got your flush valve and your adapter for your temperature and pressure relief valve. I like that it's all built in, and then over on the cold side, you have your adapter for your flush valve. Now these are very important because you need to shut off the water to the rest of the house because you don't want this chemical going through the entire system. All we're trying to do is flush the tankless water heater, then we'll rinse it and purge it before we finish, and then put everything back online. Okay, so guys, now that we're through circulating, what I've done is I've unplugged the pump, so now there's no chemical going through it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut off the valve on the cold side that lets the chemical in and loosen that hose up. That way it'll drain back down into the bucket. Then I'm gonna drain the bucket or pour it out. That way I can flush out the system. What I'm gonna do is open up the cold water inlet valve to the water heater. That way I can flush this out with fresh water. Now 
And I'll do this three or four times, then I'll run a pH test on the water just to make sure everything's good. All right guys, so now we've got everything flushed real good. What we're gonna do, first of all, we're gonna close the control valve, turn the water back onto the house. Now everything's set and good, and that's really all that there is to it. Now the things that I do different, some water heater manufacturers will tell you to turn the water off or to turn the power off to the unit. I actually had one tell me one time that if you leave it on, where it heats it up as it goes through, it'll help clean it better. I don't know which way to go, but that's what the guy told me personally, so I've kind of always done that. One thing to remember is you want to be very careful. This is a tankless water heater. It heats water very rapidly, and the water coming out of there will get very hot. So make sure that you're very careful when you spray it into the bucket and rinse everything out. Also remember, this water has chemical in it, so make sure that you're taking care of yourself and protecting yourself and doing everything you can not to get any water on you. And now a little trick. If you want to save money on this, I've had a water heater representative tell me that you can use vinegar instead of a chemical to do this. But if you use vinegar, you need to let it flush for about an hour and a half to two hours. And also, when you use vinegar, make sure you turn that unit off. Using vinegar, you would need about three or four gallons because you are gonna empty the water completely out of this tank. You're gonna clean the filter on the inlet side, pump it full of vinegar, and let it circulate through there. Like I said, an hour and a half to two hours, and that can save you some money. So guys, as you can see, flushing a tankless water heater isn't very hard to do. And if you live in a new home development like we're in, almost all the homes have tankless water heaters. You wanna be the go-to guy in your neighborhood, learn to do this, and you can help take care of everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you've done this before, please leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. And if you like it, leave us a thumbs up. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.